Most ebooks can be viewed in either landscape or portrait mode. If the ebook supports both modes, then the portrait version may provide the ability to change the font size of the text. The availability of this feature depends on how the ebook was built. Before changing the rotation, ensure lock rotation is not enabled. From within the ebook, touching the center of the screen brings up the menu bar, like this. The icon next to the library in the top left, this icon right here, ooh, there it goes, touch again, that icon right there, will bring you to the chapter view. So I'll touch that now and you can see I now have a chapter view. This view, you can quickly navigate across chapters simply by swiping back and forth. I can navigate across chapters. In addition, what I can see here is a list of, uh, in the center here is the list of sections within the chapter. Down across the bottom here, the little dots represent the number of chapters in the ebook itself. And then across the panel here, what I have are thumbnails for each of the doc, each of the pages. And I can actually scroll that just by touching and dragging. So touching and dragging will allow me to scroll across um, the pages. Now when I want to open a specific page, I simply touch and it opens that particular page. When viewing in landscape mode, you cannot change the size of the fonts because the pages are specifically laid out by the author in this mode. Okay, so let's now take a look at the other modes. So now I'm going to just rotate my iPad and you can see that it is now rotated. I can move up and down so I can scroll up and down just by moving my finger up and down the screen. One of the things you're going to notice in this mode is that your videos are no longer in line. They're beside. So here I've got a video here. If I want to play the video, I just touch the video and the video plays. If I want to stop the playback, I just touch the center of the screen again and then there's a done button right at the top up here. So I just click the done and I can go back to where I was. Now if I want to change, um, actually let's take a quick peek at the menu again. So I touch in the center and then I touch the same icon up here next to the library and that gives me my chapter view. Now here, what I'm gonna get is these little triangles that will open and close. So if I touch the triangle, it'll close. If I touch the other triangle, it'll open. And from here, if I want to open a particular page or particular section, I just touch the section. So here I'm gonna to touch apps, which will cause my app section to open up. So the other thing we wanna look at is changing the size of the text. If I touch the center, Again, there's this little, there's an AA up here. That's the text change one. So I touch that and you can see that there's two buttons here. There's a little A and a big A. And if I touch the little A, the text gets smaller. And if I touch the big A, each time the text gets bigger. So you can then resize the text to the size in which you like. Um, and then continue, just touch the center of the screen to make the menu go away and continue reading the document. And so the key note here is this does not affect the size of the text in the other, in, in landscape mode. So if I turn back to landscape, you'll see the size of the text is the same as it always was. And that's a bit about navigating.